In this nugget, we are going to learn about the reactivity series. The majority of elements found in the periodic table are metals. Metals are found to the left and towards the bottom of the periodic table, highlighted here in yellow. Non-metals are found towards the right and top of the periodic table, highlighted here in grey. Metals can vary in reactivity. Reactivity is how easily a metal takes part in a chemical reaction. Some metals are very reactive. This means they easily take part in chemical reactions to make new substances. The more reactive a substance, the more vigorous the reaction. For example, sodium reacts rapidly with oxygen in the air and heat and light are produced, so we say sodium is very reactive. Some metals are less reactive. This means they do not easily take part in chemical reactions. For example, copper does not react with oxygen in the air, even if it is heated in a Bunsen burner flame. It also does not react with water. However, we do not describe copper as unreactive because it does react slowly with other substances, for example, acids. So we say copper is less reactive. Metals can be arranged in order of their reactivity. When we arrange metals in order of their reactivity, it is called the reactivity series. The reactivity series shows metals potassium, sodium, lithium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron and copper in order of most reactive to least reactive. This is based on their reactions with dilute acids and water. When each metal is reacted with either dilute acid or water, we can easily see which ones do not react and which react more vigorously. Most metals do not react vigorously with water, such as copper, which does not react at all with water, so it can be used to make water pipes. Whereas potassium reacts more violently, melting into a shiny ball that burns with a flame. These observations are used to determine an order of reactivity from most reactive to least reactive metal. Nonmetals hydrogen and carbon are also included in the reactivity series because these elements are very useful references to compare metals against. For example, they give us an indication about how metals can be extracted from their impure compounds. Summary. Metals vary in reactivity. Some are very reactive and others are less so. Metals can be arranged in order of reactivity from most reactive to least reactive. This is called the reactivity series. This is based on their reactions with dilute acids, for example, dilute hydrochloric acid and water. Nonmetals such as carbon and hydrogen are included in the reactivity series as references. Keywords Extract To take something away from or out of something else Reactivity The tendency of a substance to undergo a chemical reaction Reactivity series A list of elements in order of their reactivity, usually from most reactive to least reactive Unreactive A substance is unreactive or inert if it does not easily take part in chemical reactions.